Hello and welcome. I am the Suntai Dip and Shoe Guy, and this is the number one review of Series 14. Series 14 is Tough Guy Chew, the regular Tough Guy line. And the first review, as you just saw, will be of the peach. Okay, so let's take a look at the container. So you have a metal lid on sturdy plastic can. It's a nice looking lid. Uh, this is one of the newer layout lids. Uh, I mean, in general, it's sort of the same. But as you can see, the tough guy is now holding a spittoon. Peaches denoted over here. Fat cut chewing tobacco is noted here. Tough guy, the words are raised and then you have the warning label. The rim is a raised thin boxed rim in silver. All in all, it's glossy, it's a good looking can. I should also note that the tough guy is also slightly raised. I mean, the image of the guy itself is slightly raised. Now, I can't remember, but I believe the older cans of this did not have those tobacco leaves coming out around him, but I could be wrong about that. On the side, you have branding. Fat Cut Peach, it's a 1.2 ounce can. Barcode, manufacturer's information, and basically some more branding with a warning label. Now, the manufacturer's information is basically that this is a product of Ace Moist Snuff Incorporated. And they are of Farmington, New York which is on Long Island. Um, it is 100% U.S. tobacco, and it is tax class C, which is important because this is chewing tobacco. It's fine cut chewing tobacco. Oh, it's dip it. You look at every can of actual dip that you have, and it's going to say tax class M. M. This is tax class C. C for chew. That's what it is, and that's why it says tough guy chewing tobacco on the can. Mine you use this as dip, obviously. The stuff is much too fine. You could never use it as chew in in the way that you use chew and also now that they have added nicotine to the product so it has dip levels or maybe the highest dip levels you could never throw in a full cheek of this without feeling ill soon after uh, the black can is one of the newer ones that has the inset it's a deep inset for as far as insets on the back of cans go it's fairly deep and it's pretty uh boxed off squared it's a it's a pretty sharp depression there is no date codes of any sort on these products the reason for that is that they are made small batch as needed which is true they are made small batch and they it is done as needed um which ever since they started getting more popular due to things like the outlaw line that is where the problems are coming into play uh, uh, the initial problems they're having a hard time keeping up which is maybe why this is supposedly being discontinued it's probably if it is in fact being discontinued it's being discontinued in favor of basically one of the outlaw dips there are other things that tell me quality control is going down. For example, it may not be overly evident on the camera here, but this label, this banding, is all over the place and somewhat crinkled. 
in spots. You can definitely tell where it meets itself. So, you know, I guess I'll be talking about some of these aspects through these series. I just hope the can stay good. And I hope this one stays good because I like their peach. Yeah, I, I, I like it. It's, uh, it's interesting. Mind you, tough guy, before it started having problems, there was always the chance of getting a bad can, as long as I've been getting it. It just didn't happen very often. It happened, but not often. Ever since they decided to throw in with Outlaw and Mud Jug and company, and they got real popular, that's when things started going sideways big time. So I guess it was about, I guess it would have started in about spring of 2017. Now, I have had this peach before, obviously, and it is on one of the new cans, so it is a little bit tough getting off. And it is... It smells really, really good. Really good. It's extremely moist, as you're about to see. That is exactly what it looks like. All right. To show you what the cut is like, they do say it is fat cut. Now... That's a pinch so big, my head had to get out of the way of the camera. In fact, I don't even want all that. There we go. See how it's sort of translucent in spots there? Almost like, oh, I don't know, chew? Yep. That's one thing Mud Jug One and Company were not telling stories about. The stuff is moist as all get out. I'm going to have to obviously hit the pause button and I will be back in a moment. And I am back. Well, I don't know what the can is going to be like two hours from now. Hopefully it's still good, but. It, if you can get a good can and it stays good, this stuff is excellent. Um, now, it is true, but they did about, I guess it was over a year ago now, they did start adding nicotine. So there is definite nicotine content in this. In fact, it even gives, I don't want to call it a sting or a burn, but it's it's definitely real zingy in the mouth. I take that as nicotine absorption. Um, so, you got that mouth feel going on. It does cling together pretty well because it's so moist and it is fat cut. Now, I've heard people rave about the cut of this. Oh, it's, you know, the greatest thing ever. This stuff with me, now, my bottom teeth are in no way straight, but moving this stuff around with me has always, because it's sort of not strands like dip, and it's sort of like flat leaf that's been just cut real small, it works its way. Like when you move it, it goes in between your teeth. Basically, after I'm done a can of this, if I do a can in like a day, I definitely have to floss afterwards. And it's amazing like what the, the floss pick thing gets out. So it does cling together and it stays pretty well formed. And this one pinched real well. But in the past I have had very moist cans of it. I've, I've never had a dry can of this. Let me put it that way. That didn't pinch that great. 
tell you the truth. Uh, so, you know, I mean, the cut is what the cut is because it is actually chill. It's wide and flat. All right. Um, the flavor of this is obviously peach, but it's a very natural peach. Sort of in the same idea as the Stoker's Chill, but at the same time, different. You, you, you wouldn't confuse the two, let me put it that way. What it is not is like the um, Timberwolf Peach, and I guess by extension the Longhorn. It's not candy like that. It's it, it's sort of in between the Stoker's Chew and the Timberwolf Peach in the fact that it's a natural candy. It, it's not fully in the natural camp, and it's definitely not in the Timberwolf candy camp, but it's somewhere in between. It's really good. I hope this can stays good. Uh, for people that are new that wonder why I keep bringing up the can staying good, ever since Tough Guy brought on the Outlaw line, they started getting overextended. Well, at least that's what I'm guessing is happening. And bad cans have been showing up in the mail. When I say that, the big one I cite is... I bought a roll last summer before this channel started of orange, which is my favorite. And three of the cans were bad off the bat, and I froze two, like in a deep freezer, not, not a little fridge here, like a big freezer. And when I opened them up after they thawed, they were bad as well. And I'm like, <laughs> is there anything that'll keep this stuff good? Add to that, when I did the Outlaw line, the four Outlaw dips that Tough Guy makes in January, the Sweet Tea was the first review, and I opened the can, and it was good. And it got a favorable review. About an hour and a half after the review, I opened it up again to get another dip out of it, and it had soured. Now, when this stuff sours, one of two things, or possibly both, happen. The flavor it's supposed to be could completely recede. You don't know what it is. More likely, it will recede a little bit, and you will be met with the sour smell. Now, the sour smell sounds bad, but it doesn't quite do it justice, me just saying sour. It smells like ammonia. Now, they don't, people in line, you'll see them talking, oh, the, the, the chemicals they're using are crazy. No, the problem is they're not using chemicals. That's why it's all being made small batch and as needed. They're not using harsh preservatives. The problem with that is, you know, that's all fine and good. But the problem with that is that now that they're having to make so much and have all this business, they got cans going bad left and right for whatever reason. So maybe it's time to start using the preservatives. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know what else to say. They, gotta, they have to have enough money flow at this point to buy the preservatives. So, up until this whole deal, the orange last year, I had only ever had one bad can that I think was bad. Because a couple years ago, I got, it was shortly after, I believe they switched over from Ace, the Ace branding. Um, I got the original and Maybe it's just that the original is so nondescript flavor-wise and like sort of void of anything, but I think maybe I got a bad can. But up until the problems that started last summer, that was the only one that I ever questioned. 
Anyway, this see that whole outlaw series that that that's it puts me in a bind here review wise because this stuff's really good. But I'm hesitant to tell you to go. You know, the, you can't find this in stores. The only where place you can get it is at the Tough Guy website, and then you have to have it ordered. So one can is about five bucks. Plus the shipping. So it makes sense to buy more than one can. Now you're running the gauntlet whether the cans will be good and whether they'll stay good. Plus I'm hearing other things that, you know, their customer service has gone to absolute and like they don't respond if you have a problem. So keep that all in mind. If you order and you get a good can of the peach, it's excellent. Excellent. Second to none in a round can. But the question is, are you going to get a good can? And is it going to stay good by the time you get done with it? When it happened to me with the sweet tea during the Outlaw series, I actually had to come back and do a video the next day letting people know. I felt like an idiot. But, you know, what, what, I, I couldn't let it go. People might be buying on my previous recommendation, you know what I mean? So, nicotine is there. Flavor is great. It's, a, it's, a, it's candy-like, but it leans natural, like a natural peach. The can, I don't know how much of the coloring is going to show in this. It's, it, it's almost like it's a very light peach color, like peach fuzz. All right? The packaging's nice, uh, you know, if they could get the bands going straight again, that'd be great. But besides that, uh, it's a good-looking package. It's a shame. I really like the peach. It's, it's a shame that they've decided to get rid of this one. I would have been flat-out upset, though, if I heard it was the orange. So, this has been the review of Tough Guy Peach. If you get a good can, it's great stuff. It's got good nicotine content. Flavor's great, spits well, but do keep in mind that they've been having problems. I am the Soon Tie Dip and Chew Guy. I will do any shout outs at the next video due to the length of this one. Guys, do take care of yourselves and God bless.